It is six years since this pub was bulldozed to the ground. A hundred years of history reduced to rubble by the developers who demolished it two days before it was due to be given protected listed status. Now after years of protests and community campaigns, this northwest London boozer has been rebuilt. The outrage and the disbelief that somebody on the 8th of April 2015 can just turn up with bulldozers with no permission and take absolute ownership on how we're going to demolish someone's hub. There was no way we were ever going to give up. I personally were never going to give up. The council ordered the developers to put the pub back together brick by brick. The builders salvaged as much as they could and even managed to retain some of the original features. Part of the campaign group, this was Rob Cope's local for decades. I came here, I didn't quite believe it was real. I thought if I touched it, it would turn out to be a hologram or something because it's been buried off until now, until now. We haven't been able to get this close. It's, and now I've been inside and it's, it's just amazing. It's wonderful. I didn't think we were going to get here, and then um, we did. The Carlton Tavern was one of the few buildings in this stretch of London that survived the Blitz. The developers told me on the morning they demolished this old pub, they did so because they wanted to turn it into 10 luxury flats to prevent it from being a listed building. But the community has now successfully fought back. The only thing that's missing is the beer. I think it wasn't really our initial intention for it to become a tourist attraction, but there's lots of people taking pictures and walking past, and I think people are really interested in the story. Two friends, now managers of their first pub, hope people return post-pandemic for plenty of pints. Well, I think we're kind of joking around at the moment, saying we are <laughs> the most famous pub in the UK right now. Uh, but I think we are. I mean, like, it has, it, it's kind of just, it's blown up. It's, you know, we, we knew that we'd get a little bit of press out of it and because of what's happened in the past and some of the articles that are already out there, but we never imagined it would get like this. A pub that's risen from the ruins, now getting ready for April 12th, when pub gardens reopen. A community which defeated developers focused entirely on their own profits. Luke Hanrahan, Euronews, London.